This video will teach you how to do the hitless runner trick known as the Prince's Cheese. This trick makes the fight trivial in a hitless or deathless run, especially if you have the Karthus Blood Ring. To start, you will want to have at least 20 endurance. Typically at this point in a challenge run, you will have between 20 and 30 depending on your preference. I recommend using the Chloranthi Ring for stamina regen and the Karthus Blood Ring for the extra iframes. The other two rings can be anything, so I recommend using damage rings such as the Red Tearstone Ring, Lloyd's Sword Ring, Flim's Ring, or anything else you want. To set up the fight for the cheese, you need to use a Homeward Bone to leave the boss fight the first time you enter. This causes Lorien to start on the ground already the next time you enter the fight, and you start at the fog wall instead of in the center of the arena. After boning out of the fight, return to the boss arena. This time, when you enter the fog wall, you will want to spam the roll button and roll back into the fog wall. This manipulates the Twin Prince's AI, causing them to get stuck in a loop where he swings twice with his sword and teleports. Continue to roll into the fog wall, timing your rolls with the sword swings. You can either turn your camera to watch Lorien and time your rolls that way, or you can face the fog wall and use the sound cues to roll. I prefer using sound cues. It becomes rhythmic, and after very little practice, you will have the timing easily. When Lorien reaches you, you will want to use an L1 or LB attack after dodging the second swipe. Continue this pattern until you have killed Lorien to start phase 2. Once you have killed Lorien and transitioned to the second phase, you will have to dodge an initial volley of magic. To do this consistently, run to the edge of the fog wall. Make sure your endurance is full. Listen for the sound cue of the first magic volley being fired, then start rolling from side to side at the fog wall. This will avoid all the magic and keep the twin princes in their AI loop. Once you have handled the magic volley, the rest of the fight is exactly the same as the first. In phase 2, it is likely you will kill Lorien before Lothric, however Lothric should be low enough that you can finish him off before he resurrects Lorien. Don't forget to enjoy the bangin' soundtrack as you do this cheese.